Hello and welcome to Cage Face Case 1 The Mine. This is actually a rehash of a very old teaser I did, I think like a year ago, that was about Cage Face. And I actually want to thank the developer, Alex Olinkowitz, I think is how you pronounce the name. My apologies if, you're, if I'm butchering it. And, uh, yeah, actually, they gave me a key for this for free, and I really appreciate that. But in here, we're actually going to be playing, I think, as a private investigator who is... I think they were hired to find out something about a mine. That's kind of the the gist of what I know. They have some information about an old case, and I think we're actually going to be watching a tape that kind of goes over what exactly happened in the mine. And around here, there's actually a few different uh, little bits of information. I was just kind of looking around. So up here, we have a couple of different things. So that's a private investigator's handbook, something called Downpour and the Forbidden. I don't know if those are like references to other games or something else. There's this, which is actually a picture of the of Cage Face, the monster. Uh, interesting little design, basically a person who has like everything from their from their lower jaw and up replaced with a cage that, if it's at all like the original design that I saw in the teaser, it has like a lamp in there. Then there is the town news. The news report, renovated mines hit with a horrible death. The Blackstone Mines, which are closed back in the 1800s and had been recently reopened, had been home to a terrible tragedy just this week. Two teenagers who have yet to be identified snuck into the mines to engage in vandalism when one was killed and the other was hospitalized with an as of yet unknown illness. Local police are unsure whether this was accidental or foul play was involved, but the accident has halted the mines reopening. We might just have to close it up again, the mine supervisor said to us in an interview. Okay, well interesting, then what is this? VHS Cardboard Sleeve Counseling Record Mine Incident Survivor. Okay. And then an investigator's journal. Day one. Got a new case recently. A woman came into my office looking distraught, begging me to help her find her grandpa. Apparently he'd been missing for three months and the cops had dropped their search as they usually do. She was getting desperate so she decided to hire me. It's always nice to be somebody's last resort. I normally don't take cases like this. It's pretty run of the mill and I've had my fill of breaking bad news to people. When she told me how much she was willing to drop for this, well I couldn't say no. And day three, finally I managed to get into the grandfather's home. The trouble was worth it, though, because I'd managed to find a box he'd kept hidden deep in his wardrobe. It had a lot of good stuff in it. A newspaper, some documents, and a VHS tape that you couldn't de that you definitely couldn't just pick up without some credentials. I have no idea how he managed to get a hold of these things. Either he has friends in high places, or friends in low places that know how to get things they shouldn't have. There also were some notes that matched his handwriting in a wooden box with a combo lock. The most bizarre thing, though, was a stretch of a strange humanoid creature. Large in stature with some sick-looking contraption for a head. The search definitely helped me out, but I feel it's definitely brought up more questions than it's answered. I'll have to keep looking. So yeah, that sort of sets up the basis for like what we're doing here. Then an autopsy report, multiple stab wounds to the body, best matching an implement similar to a pickaxe. Signs of damage to the lungs, fitting poisoning, as well as evidence of symptoms beforehand, although bizarrely no trace of chemicals were found in the body. Okay, what are you? Okay, you just make that sound spooky, got it? Uh, what is this? A strange note, I regret the things I did when I was young, and as I become old and gray, I still seek an answer to what I've done. I don't think the emptiness in my heart will ever feel full if I don't pay for what I did. Why are those capitalized? Young, old, full. Hmm. Okay. Young, old, full. I'm gonna have to try to remember those. I wonder if that's, like, gonna be a key to something, and then... Okay, I wonder if the Okay, so that note clearly corresponds to this. Alright, any other little interactables out here? There's credits, and if they don't appear at the end of the game, I'll probably just go ahead and I'll... I'll do them then. Um... Hmm. Okay, so I'm just... I'm, I'm just... Because, like, the fact that that disappears when I let go of my mouse... Yeah, okay, well, I guess let's go ahead and let's load in. So... I don't actually have a last save. So let's just do normal mode, yeah. That should be good. Multiple auto saves, illness progresses at standard rate, sure. Yeah, that's right. I think in the original game there was like a there was a deal where I think there was like a poisonous gas or something. That is fucking horrifying, Jesus. Okay, psychologist. So let's start with the events that happened in that mine if you feel you're able to. Me and my bud had just graduated from high school and we were soon gonna be leaving for college. We couldn't wait, we'd finally get to leave that dump of a town once and for all. We also wanted to leave our mark there, you know. So my friend knew about the shutdown mine they were reopening for use. The miners were going to work on it a bit in the morning and take the rest of the day off, so we figured we could sneak in at night and tag the place. 
Okay, typical idiot teenager shit. So the time came, but it turned out my flashlight was old and pretty faulty. My dad did hunting though, and he legit had a night vision scope. I figured he wouldn't notice it was gone, and when I got to the mine, my friend wasn't there. I figured he'd just gone in without me is all. Turns out I was right. He'd used a ladder to get over some big metal gate. I went in the same way he did and started looking for him. Okay, yeah. So this, I think, is going to be very similar to the original idea again. So Wasted to move. Left mouse to interact or toggle zoom. Hold for night vision scope. There's a run. There's a space. Okay. There's a quick turn. Or for running, we can actually look behind us. That's always a really unnerving effect. Uh, there's a crouch. There's a flashlight. The UI. And then scroll up and down. Okay, I mean, so far, pretty straightforward. So let's see. Oh, okay, that's cool. Alright, so I have this night vision scope. Okay, and then, yeah, I have a zoom. Cool. Okay, so let's go... That's horrible. Okay, so let's just go ahead, let's just take a look around. How do I... The switch would open the metal door if it had power. Yeah, okay, so again, for some reason, we're just stranded down here. In the case of a power outage, use the backup generator located in the section between the east and west areas. Okay, did I not just see? Okay, I was going to say, I thought I saw another note. West area fuel storage, storage room area keys. So none of the keys are here, it looks like. What are you? Current mine maintenance. All mine restoration workers, I want it to be perfectly clear what we're doing here. This comes straight from the supervisor, so make sure you commit this all to memory. Our current job is to install new lighting fixtures, fit new metal doors and electric systems, put up signs marking any dangerous areas, and prepare for cleaning and reopening those collapsed tunnels. You might notice some items left here from when the mine was opened back in the 1800s. The supervisor made it clear, if it's not in the way, leave it alone. We'll be taking care of those items later, so don't get any funny ideas. Yeah, okay, so these guys were busy trying to get stuff open. So... Yeah, okay, so the trade-off is that this lights up more in the immediate area. And then... Oh, hang on. I can't inter... Okay, so I can't interact with stuff either. Alright, so the east area... Okay, it's padlocked. They need a key to open it. Damn this flashlight. Uh, good thing I packed my dad's night vision scope. And then there's some... I don't know what that says. That might just be like a random piece of art or something that they did. And some random spray paint. Okay. Well, storage, fuel, west. Well, it said, yeah, between the east and the west area, right? Door is clearly locked, but somebody's keeping it locked from the other side. Okay. Uh, let's you know. Okay, so I mean, comparing this to the original, the original demo version that I played, this is already pretty fucking spooky. I mean, it's it's very. It definitely has a good atmosphere to it. Okay, what are you? Storage room. Can't keep these boards off by hand. What a wuss. No one reads the reports around here, so I'll put this up here. After putting away a jerry can, I noticed the center support frame snapped and the ceiling could come down at any moment. So to make sure no one wanders in here and gets badly injured, I barred the door. If there's anything you were keeping in the storage room, just wait until we properly inspected and secured it. Okay, that's something. So these guys had... Yeah, they were busy trying to inspect stuff. So if they... Hang on, is this the... Is this lead to the west? Yeah, okay, cool. So that that's how this map is laid out. Let's actually... Oh boy, okay. I really hope I'm not going to have to use that, because that's actually, like, super unnerving to look behind me like that. Yeah, that's not comfortable at all, actually. That really, really isn't kind of miserable. <laughs> storage and fuel storage. Doors locked with a combination lock, okay. That's probably that. Danger Collapse Tunnel. We'll be collecting supplies to help remove the debris from the collapse tunnel. I know the supervisor said otherwise, but I still think we should get some proper gear to test if there's any toxic gas around here. You can never be too careful with these old mines. Yeah, so these guys... Oh, okay. So that's all of this. So let's head down here. So if this is at all like the original, something is going to be down here that's going to spawn the creature. Okay, this is locked. Oh, hey, how's it going? I don't remember what your name is supposed to be, but... Okay, there's a hiding mechanic, apparently. That's something. 
holy shit, he's dead. I don't want the hell did this to him, but I'm not going to sit around here and find out. The metal door is blocking me, though. How am I going to get out? Maybe you have something that can help me out. Sorry, buddy. So, oh. Okay, so it, like, it takes time to search. Okay, I got an east area key. So I wonder then, does this mean... Let's try this. What does this do? That, oh. Oh, hey, okay. A and D to look around. Toggle zoom is left mouse. Leave is right mouse. Okay, that's not comfortable at all. Um, okay, so I got the east area key. Great. Yeah, okay, so... Huh. Yeah, I mean, honestly, so far, this is already a pretty significant improvement. The air is starting to feel heavy. I should get out of here fast. Okay, the door has a padlock. Oh, yeah, that's right. You have to have to use uh, the the things to go ahead and, like... Yeah, I have, to, I have to scroll to pick stuff up. Okay, what's down here? That's not good. Okay, I don't know how much... Nope, back inside, dipshit. Let's go. Um, yeah, I don't know how much you guys remember about the original, but I've gotten a chance to talk to the developer a little bit about this, because he's like, he really likes this character design, he really likes this idea. And one of the things that is very... What do I want to call it? Like, the, the creature has a certain element to it, and I think it's it's the call of a canary or something. That's, that's like, it's a sign that it's around. Yeah. It's something like that. Oh, boy. Okay. So, there's a clock. Okay, what's, what's here? What is this? Do you know what the generator is mostly around in case you have a power outage? You need to get the front gate open. It needs an ignition key to use a special fuel and won't take anything else. Both of those can be found in the new in the fuel storage room. The code is new waning gibbous waxing gibbous. Keep an eye on the time. Backup generator needs to be topped with gas. Then I need an ignition key. Okay. Well, let me check something here. What are you? New. Oh, hang on. What did that say? New waning waxing. So if new is zero, so that's zero, and then waxing gibbous is zero, one, two, three, four, and then waning gibbous is six. So zero, six, four. Well, actually, hang on though. Oh, wait, young full. Is this related to the other puzzle too? Okay, so zero is new. So I think the code is 064, and then what was it? Was it was it young, full, and old? Whatever those were. So young is one, full is five, old is nine. Okay. Okay. Uh, this is really fucking spooky. I'm kind of loving it and hating it. Oh, I got a hammer. Okay, hold on. Let's go hide in here. So I got myself a hammer. Oh, hang on. Okay, I bet I bet that's what I can use on the boards, right? Am I hearing footsteps or is that just like the dripping of the water in the mine? Well, I hope it's not footsteps because that would fucking suck if it was. Okay. Well, let's uh let's go. Oh boy. This is like really, really spooky actually. Um, yeah, th this is a drastic improvement over the original version, I'm gonna say that much for sure. Oh shit, don't tell me he's gonna spawn in here. Fuck. Okay, okay, uh, okay. Hiding spot, hiding spot, hiding spot. Okay, okay, we're looking good, looking good. Let's just wait a second and see. You know, the fact that he hasn't spawned in it is actually making me really nervous. Or maybe he is, and I've just gotten very lucky. 
you know, one thing I'll be curious, like, I know the, uh, in the original, like, teaser for this idea, which was a lot more of a walking... I swear I just saw something, but I don't know, maybe I'm just having a stroke. Um, you know, someone... Is that him that I'm hearing? Okay, whatever, let's finish my fucking rant. In the original version of this... Fucking AM, okay. So that must be that poison shit that I'm in, that I'm getting. Um, yeah, the the original version had it so that we were yeah we walked into a mine and basically like as we were leaving, he spawned it. We just kind of had to go in a circle a couple of times. So I'll be curious then how much this is different compared to. Yeah, compared to that, like, I, there, there's a, it was a very, very basic, and it was mostly just there for the atmosphere. Um, was it, 064? Okay, there we go. In the hole, because I, I, I don't know when he's going to spawn, and that's the thing that has, hello, generator key. Don't mind if I do. Okay. Yeah, that, that was, the strength of the, teaser was mostly in the fact that it was, uh, that it was, like, a really good atmosphere, if nothing else. So, yeah, I, I am actually really happy to see that the developers sort of learned from that, because I think my biggest complaint I had with that version of the game was just that it was, it was so, like, bland, basically. Yeah, there was there was no real variety to anything. There was nothing No, there was no reason to do Yeah, there there wasn't really any reason to go back and like replay it. Okay. Well Come on, so I gotta get here. Okay. Game, I need you. It's okay, thank you. Yes, I, I know. Come on. There we go. So I'm going to pour all the gas in. I don't know why I need so much gas. I would need, like, five minutes worth of gas to get out of here. Shit, okay. You know what? I'm actually... I'm hearing more of the canary. I'm going to go hide for a second. <sighs> okay. So I should, in theory, just need to get out the door. So here's the question. Am I going to... Am I going to walk outside and am I just going to get murdered? I really hope not, because that would suck, because I don't really want to redo all this. <laughs> okay. Alright. Take a chance, take a chance. Open, open, come on. I don't like this at all. Yep, this fucking sucks. Fuck this place. Fuck everything to do with that. Once I got the gate open, I got out of there as quickly as possible. I couldn't help but glance back, though, but the thing was gone, nowhere to be seen. I didn't feel like sticking around, so I just kept running and made my way home. It was late as hell and my parents had noticed I was gone, so they were up and ready to chew me out for it, but they forgot about that pretty quickly when they saw the state I was in. I was in shock, and at some point I even started puking. You have to understand the events you described are rather extraordinary. You might have been in shock, or perhaps the mine had residual gas that affected your mind. Your monster could have just been a regular man. I wasn't imagining things, damn it. There was a damn monster in there. Listen, I understand you're very stressed right now, but there are much more reasonable explanations than that. I know you wouldn't believe me. There's some kind of weird creature in those mines, and if you were all smart, you'd be telling people to stay far away from them. Or you'd send a tactical train in with a bunch of auto shotguns and assault rifles and go fuck it up, but okay. But okay, that was Cage Face Case 1 The Mine. Okay, um, that lasted about as long as it uh, needed to. That lasted about as long as I think the original. Um, yeah, Alex, good job. I, I definitely feel like you kind of took some of the criticisms that I saw people level at the teaser. And this was actually really cool. Uh, it had a good atmosphere. I never really encountered the creature though, so I don't really understand how that happened. Like, did I just get really lucky or 
what happened there? Yeah, I don't really know. I don't understand why I didn't. I feel like there should have been at least one time that I should have at least seen it, right? Uh, yeah, I don't know. That, that was very, very weird to me. But no, that was really good atmosphere-wise. Um, I, I can't really talk about the creature, though. That's the thing that kind of sucks, is like, there's nothing I can really do. You know, it, it, like, this this basically was just a walking simulator with good atmosphere if we assume that I somehow didn't break the game and I just, like, had, got really lucky. Uh, yeah. So, I don't know. I'd like to actually have seen the monster, but I feel like that might be a me problem. That might be something else. I don't really know. But, uh, no, I mean, good atmosphere, good environments. I kind of want to see what the sequel is going to be like. No, I'm actually really excited to see the sequel. Uh, to go ahead and kind of find out what what's next. I think I think there are two games. I think they gave out. A, I think he gave out a code to the first two. So this was the mine. I think the second might be like a sewer or a subway or something like that. I can't remember. But okay, so we got that. Okay, so there was young. So young should be one. Old should be. I think it was nine. And then full was five? Yes, it was. Okay, hello. Interesting. Okay. So what is that? That's bank robbery evidence exhibit A, gun found in the sewers, and there's a storage unit key. And why is that a shitty TT-33 Tokarev? That's like a really old, crappy gun. Okay. And then what is this? Letter in the lockbox. If you're reading this note, it's fairly likely I'm no longer around. If you've been following my clues, then you're probably wondering why I'm not just giving all the answers in one go. You see, all the information I've collected over the years is incredibly important to me. Precious, even. And I want to make darn sure that if someone finds my paper trail and is willing to put in the effort to follow it, you've either got the care or respect for the evidence I'm looking for, or you're just tenacious enough that you might as well. I've been hunted by this thing my whole life, and I've been hunting for proof and answers. By now, it's probably no secret that my methods haven't been entirely legal, but I just can't bring myself to let that get in the way. There's a monster out there and I need to make sure everyone knows it. If you've gone this far, then maybe you won't mind going a little deeper. Maybe you can find the clues that will warn the world about this beast. So maybe that's it. Maybe, uh, okay, that says sewer. So maybe that's the second game or else maybe it's involving like a storage unit or something. I don't, I don't remember what it is. I'll have to go check my Steam, but yeah, this was really solid. I'm really impressed with the improvements that have been made to the game. Uh, I mean, there's, this has a lot of potential. It, the thing that I'm curious about is that, like, I think according to the lore that the developers shared that I've seen, the creature only can appear in places that are, like, man-made underground tunnels. So, sewers, subways, mines, stuff like that. I kind of want to know what it is. I, I actually kind of want to know more about the creature. Why? What is it? Like, it appears to just be malevolent. As far as I can tell, it just appears to be violent. But, you know, is this... Is this, like, the vengeful spirit of all of the humans who have ever died underground? Is this... You know, what is it? What is it doing? Like, why? why is it... Yeah, why is it doing what it's doing, I guess? I, I'd like to know. But yeah, I mean, still enjoyable game. Definitely an improvement over the prequel. Or, I don't want to say prequel, over the teaser. And I'm really looking forward to playing the second one. And I hope you guys are too. So, if you guys enjoyed the video, if you wouldn't mind, please leave a like or leave a comment. How did you feel about Cage Face, Case 1 The Mine? If you guys are familiar with the original teaser, how did you feel about it? You know, is there anything that you would like to see changed or different besides maybe getting a chance to see the creature? And if you're new to the channel, if you enjoyed the video, if you wouldn't mind subscribing, I would really, really appreciate it. Every time whenever I'm doing the outro, I always fucking yawn. And for everybody else, thank you very much for watching Cage Face, Case 1 The Mine. I hope you enjoyed, and I look forward to seeing you in another video very soon.